Hey guys. It's a quiet Thursday evening. We just um, each finished separate hikes tonight and so we've been catching each other up on um, on how our night went and showing pictures and videos and talking about our night. We really like hiking together. Doesn't always work out and thankfully we also like hiking alone because um, do you want to admit what you were turning into? Hiker. He's turning into a hiker. <laughs> he said he wasn't going to. Cutting your head off. Yeah, I should hold it since I'm Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, I was going to, I told her what I was going to say in a video, so I guess she, she said, well, let's just record it. So. We should um, move to a better angle, but I'm so comfortable. Anyway, beginning of this week, I. Um... <laughs> okay, go ahead. You're a nut. Beginning of this week, I hit a milestone um, with my weight, and I um, was pretty excited about it. And um, and then a couple days ago, I gained some weight back, and I didn't quite go back over the milestone, but... It wasn't even significant enough to really consider it a weight gain. Your weight fluctuates right every day. But anyway, I, I was worried. I, I was like... I really don't want to go back over the milestone that I hit. And my lovely wife reminded me of what I knew, but, you know, sometimes forget that you can't control the scale. You can only control what you put in your body and what you do as far as, you know, exercise and behavior and things. So anyway, um, what I did was I kind of doubled my, decided to push myself and double my efforts as far as you know getting my water getting my protein getting my exercise doing things so um i think i've been doing really well on my eating for the most part um not really occasionally I eat something that's a little bit of a sort of cheat but for the most part i'm eating a lot of protein getting my protein in and calories in and things like that um and I've worked out every day this week, which has been great. Um, and yesterday I hiked. Well, I didn't hike. I walked longer than I've ever walked. And that was a little over five miles. It was on a Winchester Park near my work. And it was uh, pretty flat and pretty, pretty easy. But again, I pushed myself and did the longest walk I've ever done. And um, today, I decided to push myself again, and I hiked right at five miles, a little over. Um, and I did some trails that I haven't done. The, tra the, the few trails I haven't done over at um, Machine Falls, Busby, and Adams, over in their short... Um, short Springs. Short Springs. Can I just say, I have been trying to get a five mile hike in it was my goal to do it today and i got a late start and so he beat me to the five mile hike milestone well to be fair you beat me to the six mile walk yeah or five mile walk because i thought i was first on that too and you reminded me that you did 60 <laughs> like a week or two ago whatever it was oh about a month ago oh. yeah so the difference being a walk would be something i'm going to put this up because the angle I'm at I have 17 chins so <laughs> um a walk would be one where you just um are in the park it's paved there's not much of a incline, incline or, anything. or anything like that and the hike would be at the state park on a nature trail with um ups and downs and things like that so I did a six mile one you did five yesterday but he beat me on the five mile hike and it's so definitely happy. different, definitely different, both on your body and on timing. Yeah. Because I, when I walked the park, I, I was doing about a, I was averaging about a 21 minute mile. Um, and today when I hiked, I was averaging about a 26 minute mile. And some of that was pretty tough. Um, 
so added about five minutes to my each mile but i was basically did the same distance yeah so so and i was also reminding you you know we had also talked about how you know your weight fluctuates so much every day so we have a tendency to weigh ourselves pretty much every day but we only count the ones on tuesdays and the reason for tuesday is that's when we had our, we both had our surgery on a tuesday so that's the our official weekly date so he hit his big milestone and then it went up what like not not even, and a half i think oh i don't even think it was that much yeah, i thought was. okay but i mean there's so many factors that can cause that so you know just because it's at a milestone number you know he wouldn't have worried about it if it had been that's any true. other number. That's true. You know, it would have been like, ah, rats, you know, but it'll come back down. So, yeah, you you cannot get so focused on the scale. But, um, but it did motivate me to get uh, to do better. That's so. true. And you were doing really, really good. But um, one thing that helps is measuring inches. So if I'm feeling discouraged, I like to take the tape measure and then like well, my waist is a really easy one to do so i will hold i will hold ah. <laughs> operator errors i will hold um the tape measure at the measurement where my waist used to be so i can see the difference and how much i've lost and that's always really encouraging so anyway just some late night ramblings from us and you can probably hear Harley who is protesting bedtime in her crate so anyway, anyway I hope you have a good night yep I know we sure going to night night